I mean, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. I need to lie down after that game. Watching Manchester United. Wow. What just happened there? In those first five minutes, my word, that was despicable. But Man United, 2-0 down, 3-2 winners against 10 men, Nottingham Forest at Old Trafford. It blew. My God. Bruno Fernandes, captain's performance. So many things in that game. So many red flags. So many things that we have to improve on. And Eric Ten Hag will no doubt do that. But, oh, <laughs> seriously. After the week that's, that there's been and the negativity is surrounding United, we needed that win. And it was this man here who steered us towards it. It was a captain's performance from Bruno Fernandes. And I'm not just talking about the penalty. I'm talking about the overall grit and genuine fight. Because I tell you what, United in the duels again today. So much to be desired. We need, look, Amrabat and Hoyland. I hope that Amrabat comes in. We need that physicality in this team because I don't get it. That first five minutes, my word. I will speak about that, but I'm focusing on the big, big, big positive from that game. And that is Bruno Fernandes. I said that. Twice, I've said it three times. Sod knows. My mind's all over the shop after that game. Because the start of it, wow. Wow, wow, wow. The first goal, Marcus Rashford in the jaw on the halfway line. I mean, come on, Marcus. This is the same Marcus Rashford last season who was brushing people off, standing his ground, looked strong, had a great stature. This season, this is, what are you doing? It was an atrocious. And I know, what were you doing for that goal as well? I don't know. what Did he go down too early? Sod knows what it was. That was bad enough. We conceded like two minutes later. The second one, it's not forgivable, but it's, just, it's just weird. It was it was crap to be 2-0 down in the first four minutes. I'm looking at this team going, wow. Where's your response? Now, the response came, and we're 3-2 winners. But I will not try and brush it all under the carpet and say, oh, brilliant. Our two wins so far this season against Wolves and Forest have been like pulling teeth. We've got the three points, but my word, we did not have the performance there today. Eric Ten Hag, Ten Hag needs look at this, look at this death stare from Eric Ten Hag at halftime. Hair dry, sod that. It's going like dual AK forty sevens. <laughs> Seriously, it feels it feels like I've aged. I've aged like a year watching that United game. My God, real real props by the way to this man. I'm looking at that. There's been a startling lack of control from Manchester United. Casemiro is a problem and we'll speak about him. We'll speak about the overall individuals, but Wan Bissaka again today earned his stripes. I think as the game went on, he got better and better. As the season has progressed, he's been one of the standout performers. And today, him and Bruno for me were the two outstanding performers for Manchester United. Marcus Rashford is a left winger. I mean, who'd have thunk it? Who'd have possibly thought that Marcus Rashford would be seriously more effective on the left wing than he would be through the middle. We need Rasmus Hoyland in this team. We need somebody up front who can actually win a fight. What's th that's the thing that I find most concerning about what I'm seeing so far this season is the lack of bite in the duel. Every single time, not every single time, but the large majority of the duels this season, we're just coming off second best. We're getting pushed off the ball. Even Casemiro's getting pushed off the ball. But the three points there, oh, and I, I feel like I'm repeating myself here, but... That was a hugely important comeback win. It's huge. Things are not right with this team right now. As much as I'm saying that Hoyland can come in and help fix some of the problems and Amrabat hopefully comes in and brings a lot to that midfield, there's got to be a lot with, a lot of inward looking as well. Because, right, I'm speaking about it. I've got a nice happy photo of Casemiro there. Great, well, I tell you what, it's a great set piece. And I don't know how many times I've been able to say that about Manchester United. A really well-worked set piece. It got the game back level. United were, shh, man. Cas How did Casemiro miss that in the first half? Like they said, it was it was a hard chance, but he had he had enough time to look at it. He just glanced it wide. Casemiro, unfortunately for me, is trending downwards. Um, physically, he seems to be on the decline. There's, there's kind of no way to really describe it there, other than what we've just seen. It was um it was a really good first goal from United. Look, it's Christian Eriksen. Oh, that's, that's not Christian Eriksen. It's Marcus Rashford in the background. Great. Goal from United to get that back. But Casemiro has to cover so much. But look, I don't... Tactically today, where's the control of this Ten Hag team? Where is the building up out from the back? Where is the... I mean, just everything there today. The patterns of play were very odd. 
as the second half progressed and Forrest kind of sat in a little bit, the possession was there, the width was was helping. Anthony and was it Martial out on the left sometimes? Kind of switched, stretching the game a bit. But Casemiro, I'm worried, man. I have to I have to say I'm worried by his performances. I don't know. He just he looks his age. And maybe it's going to be something that that he, he'll get better as the season goes on. But that's like the third game of the season. Now. And you kind of saw it in the first game. You're like, hmm, that's a bit weird. You saw it in the second game. You're like, well, that's mm, all down. Mm, Casemiro looks a bit poor. Now, third game there, he was huffing. He was puffing. Marcus Rashford on the left wing. All right. From the game against Arsenal, fingers crossed, we see Rashford on the left wing. We see Hoyland in the middle. And Anthony, I will speak about Anthony a little bit. I thought he was more effective today, but still the end product wasn't quite there and certainly wasn't from some, some of his teammates as well. That, that miss from Bruno in the first half. Jeez, two, was it two, maybe three guilt edge chances we missed, but we came through in the end. Rashford with the um, assist for the first goal. He won the penalty. Yeah, it wasn't really penalty. It's, it's what happens in penalties. It kind of swings and it all comes full circle by the end of the season. Play Marcus on the left. He's so much better. Anthony on that right-hand side. Look, he may not have got an assist. He may not have had the end product today. But I thought he was slightly... We need more from him. We do need more from him. And I, with Sancho there and Pellistri there, I look, I've, I love Eric Ten Hag. I love what he's doing. But I, I don't want to see him uh, favour any player, whether that's Casemiro, Anthony, Rashford, Onana, any of them. Play players on form and form alone. And if the form isn't there, others deserve opportunities. Uh, Anthony, as I said, I actually think he played quite well today. Well, compared to how he was playing before, but still we need more in the end product from him. Oh, Nana, I, I need to watch that first goal again from Forrest because I didn't really know what he was doing. Did he just like, did he go one way and then sort of ended up sitting himself down? Because then they just, uh, was it Awani? Uh, Man, he was winning every single duel there today. I think that's the thing I'm probably most concerned about. I think I've said it into in sort of the build up of this game and the exact same thing happened again. Like, where is that? Last season, we look like a like a bunch of scrappers, fighters. Everyone's going to Royal Rumble together. This season looks like we're playing with brittle bone disease. Like we're scared to get into a tackle just in case we might get an elbow, just in case we might get a shove. And because of that, we're just losing all the jewels. And because we're playing with such a, a, a system which requires committing going forward, we're over committing and we're not in. We're not got the scrap to come back. Ten Hag will be taking. A lot of positives from the fact that we came from behind. 2-0 down to win 3-2. That's a good show of resolve, of uh, team fight. And it's all because, in my opinion, it was this man. As I said, I go back to the start of the video. Bruno Fernandes was the architect of that comeback. He was the one, even in the first half, he was the one diving in. There was one point where he won like two. He, it was like on the halfway line. He's going in there for two sliding tackles, two 50-50s, and he wins both of them. There weren't many other United players that were winning their 50 their 50-50s in that game all this season overall and that for me is probably the biggest point of concern the second biggest point of concern is is still finishing and that's why we hit this got we've got what's why we've got Hoyland coming in against Arsenal please be fit and ready for that because we need a specimen up front we need somebody who can't just be shoved off the ball which is what United are all over the pitch right now attack midfield and even in defense we look weak in the shoulder we where is that strength gone it must be up. It's, it's up there. It has to be up there. As I said, I need to go and have a lie down after that game. I really need to go and have a lie down after that game. All I want is a nice, controlled, comfortable afternoon watching United breeze past Nottingham. No, absolutely fucking not. 2 0 down within four minutes, and it looks like the world's going to collapse. I have to take a positive, as I said, in the comeback, but in. The we're yet to start this season. We're, we're stuttering. We've had a couple of jump starts, but we're still not flowing. Far from flowing. We've got five days left. We need another midfielder. I would argue we need two. Ten Hag does need that. But as well, these players have to improve. I'm looking at Casemiro. Probably is my biggest point of concern overall because we don't have an alternative for Casemiro. Obviously, Amrabat coming in is, is, is a very, very important signing. But Casemiro's got to be better. Everyone's got to be better. And that first five minutes, that cannot be forgotten. But we did win. <laughs> it's a very confusing feeling overall. Two wins this season at Old Trafford. We've had to scrap for it. But we've got two wins. The Spurs performance in the second half was despicable. As was the first five minutes of that game there. Arsenal next. Do that against Arsenal. We're not going to come back and win 3-2. We're probably going to get pumped 4-0. Lessons have to be learnt. More players need to come in, but these players have to do more themselves. 
Bruno was the shining example there today for me. He's man of the match. wan maybe second. Three points. I need a... I'm, I'm going for a lie down. I'm seriously going for a lie down. <laughs>